PETA what? came to my campus once, and they had this huge demonstration. They, they have, some. like, chickens in a coop next to Holocaust victims <laughs> in a concentration camp. Pokemon are not real animals. <laughs> <laughs> but it's teaching kids to hate on animals and to see animals as slaves. Yes, right. I always put my, my <laughs> animals into tiny balls and <laughs> bring them out for battle. Whenever I see my rival on the streets of Manchester, New Hampshire, I say, Kitty cat, go! <laughs> Fight! Right, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to hurt my that. My friend Mike had a pet pig. What was her name? Willa. And he built like a little hut for her to live in outside on the side of the house. And he ran a radio out there to play opera music because he claimed it was her favorite. When I was a kid in the third grade, one of the things I would love to draw were pollution <laughs> factories. All they did was pollute. They produced absolutely nothing but uh, pollution. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, you, that is evil. You are, uh, you really are just evil, Neil. <laughs> The pee, the pee stuff is mildly interesting. You, you can always clean up well afterward and stuff. Or you can just do it right there in the shower. It's sterile Dude. if you don't let it sit. It's pretty sterile. With it up. I, I acknowledge that you're not sexualizing poop. If you say so, I'll take your word for it. I'm not 100% sure, so. but I'm inclined to take your word for it that you're not sexualizing poop. But it's still <laughs> a fetish because you're still obsessed about poop. 